Hello dear friends and welcome back. Uh, today we will be looking at the errors that we face on a virtual machine and how we can be able to fix those errors. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So let's start, uh, start virtual machine. So when you click uh, start virtual machine, this will open up and uh, these errors that you get from virtual machine for example when you click start button after creating your partition you will get an error saying that uh, we uh, virtual machine has, in, uh, has been unable for example this error this error failed to open a session for the virtual machine failed to open uh, a session for the virtual machine ubuntu server so how can you be able to fix this error so for example if also i go to the settings of the same you realize that i have uh, two errors down here or uh, not two errors one error that is uh, system uh, acceleration paint as an error for example the underwear virtualization is uh, enabled the underwear visualization is enabled in the acceleration page. So, for example, if for you to be able to fix this uh, this error, you need to go to your BIOS and be able to activate or to disable or to enable a uh, visualization for your PC. So, uh, another error that we face uh, most of the time is the uh, motherboard page. Motherboard page, for example, here. Uh, you realize that I have a motherboard page error which says that the system motherboard page or uh, more than 50% of the host computer memory uh, is assigned to the virtual machine. For example, when you have a 4GB RAM and you assign more than 2GB of RAM to your virtual machine, you realize that you get this error. For you to be able to fix this, you don't need to go to the BIOS, you just need to go to uh, storage after uh, not storage system you click system after going to system then you can be able to minimize now these uh, these uh, these number of gbs that you are located for example if i put it at uh, around 19 then you realize that uh, the error has disappeared so the next thing is to fix this error for virtualization how can we be able to fix that for us to be able to do this we need to turn off our computer fix that error we need to shut down our computer for us to be able to do that click the start then click uh, power option then shut down your computer give it time to shut down so my laptop is shutting now so after it is shut down i'll be able to go to the bios and fix the error that i'm facing that is acceleration page or visualization has not been enabled in my PC. So mine can take some few minutes to shut down completely. So I'll give it some few minutes for it to be able to shut down completely so that I can be able to turn it on, then press F10. In, the, uh, in my case, I will be able to use F10, but for example, if you are using, for example, Dell, you are using uh, Lenovo, you are using other, other other type of machine, you can be able to try other keys. For example, for Dell, you can try F12. For Lenovo, you can try F, uh, F2, and so on and so forth. So make sure you know which key to use on your machine. So after it has shut down completely, press the power button again to turn it on. Then make sure that you press F10 as you, it is start on. So make sure you press F10 to, as it starts uh, so that you can go to the BIOS. So if you look at this one, you'll be able to see that I'm already in my BIOS. So I'll go to I'll go to system configurations, system configurations, and uh, under system configurations, you realize that uh, this one, this is a uh, virtualization technology you realize that it is disabled so our task is to enable that one so select it by drop down uh, by using the arrows then click it then select enable then click ok so it has been automatically enabled so make sure you save your changes for you to save changes you press f10 again so press f10 to save changes it will ask you to confirm then click ok so after you have clicked OK, it will take some time for it to open so that you can be able to see if it is working perfectly. So let's uh, let uh, us give it time so that it can be able to start 
and so that you can enter the person go again and try to start virtual machine after you start virtual machine we try again to run uh, for example the, the 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 distribution or the or the virtual operating system that you have installed to see if it is operating okay or it has another problem so let's give it time to open after enabling uh, your virtualization technology, open your virtual machine again and try to see if the error has been fixed by going to your uh, to your settings and checking for the errors that we saw in the uh, in just a minute ago. So let's start our virtual machine. We give it some time to start. Then at, uh, after it has started, then let us click on settings. When you go under settings, you realize that there is no error that you need to fix down here. So you can proceed with the process of installation and you can install your operating system successfully. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe.